It's time to giddy up. Brian gives us the scoop on the McNeese Rodeo team and what they're all about. Why is this civil engineering major from McNeese State University rodeo roping? <laughs> Troy Hudson is one of 36 members of the McNeese rodeo team. They don't perform on a baseball field or basketball court, but they are athletes nonetheless. Out on the McNeese farm, located off of Highway 14, I ran into head rodeo coach Justin Browning and talked with him about the rodeo team. We, we have a pretty positive, uh, positive atmosphere around Magnese for the rodeo team now. Um, our program's growing, it's strong. Well, the Magnese rodeo team is a group of students uh, that, that compete in college intercollegiate rodeo. That's the National Intercollegiate Rodeo Association. Uh, they go to 10 different rodeos a year. Uh, it allows the student to be part of an organization um, after high school. It's a stepping stone into the pros for them, just like football would, baseball would, any, anything like that. It's um, the students, student athletes that, that join the rodeo program, the rodeo team. Um, rodeo in high school, there, there's not very many of them that come in college uh, that never done it before. Um, you get a few of them that have done that, but uh, it's not very likely. So uh, the kids would contact me. Uh, we have a website, it's magnese.edu backslash rodeo. There's much information on there about that. Um, they can get on there and get a lot of information. Uh, they have to become a member of the National Collegiate Rodeo Association to become a member of the team um, and practice with us. The members on the team, they, they compete in several different events. There's six uh, men's events and three to four women's events um, where the women can team rope as well as the men. That's a dual, uh, kind of a co-ed sport there. Uh, we have bull riding, saddle bronc riding, bareback riding, calf roping, team roping, and steer wrestling for the men's events. Uh, for the women's events, we have goat tying, breakaway roping, barrel racing, and also team roping for the women's team. Um, so they, they can compete in as many events as they want to. We have several men that compete in three or more events. Uh, we have several women that compete in two or more events. Um, the, the more events they do, the better chance they have of being on the team. That creates more points for us. It sounds like these cowboys and cowgirls have their hands full. But what about the recent budget cuts at McNeese? Will the cuts affect the McNeese rodeo team? We are seeing a few, but we're, we just make a little, a few adjustments, and we keep on rolling with it. You know, uh, uh, there's hard times, and there's there's great times, and and try to make the hard times, you know, great, and it'll be all right. So, uh, but it's it's good. I mean, everything's the cows are eating, and the and the kids are learning, and and that's what really matters. So, it's time to shake off the dirt and head back. For more information about the McNeese Rodeo Team, go to mcneese.edu slash rodeo. Brian Ford, Inside McNeese.